Hello. What a potpourri of this and that we have for you tonight, including how to stay forever youthful. How? Well, you have an operation on a particular gland every ten years. Could be painful. Now, I'm wearing my Lycra shorts. Why? We're off to Barcelona for athletics. Well, we're a couple of smells. We stop at the best hotels. We're Busking onto your screens next Friday, a new series with Nina Miskow and Malcolm Orso. Very good, isn't it? Good. Should go far. The further, the better. You know who's on the first of a brand new series of Anglia Live? How oh, is he? Who else is on? Uh, well, I'm on it. Well, I'm on it. What's the theme of the first one? Well, it's all about uh, show business and talent. Talent? What's he doing on then? A new series of Anglia Live next Friday night at 10.35. In 1950, Emma Birder created what was to become the most extraordinary fashion magazine in Europe. Birder, a monthly magazine that offers you no less than 90 high fashion patterns in every issue. And now, Europe's most fashionable pattern magazine has arrived in Britain. Birder, for just £1.95. Over 90 new and exclusive patterns in every issue. European style, at your fingertips, from Emma Birder. I want to make women more beautiful. Mum, it's Melvin. Look, I'm afraid we're going to be late. You're going to be late? He's going to be late. Sister's never late. Your father says your sister's never late. She got more consideration. I've got to work. He's got to work. I'll tell you this. They're working you too hard. The slave drivers, those people. I'll be an hour. I'll come down. I'll bring you a sandwich. Your father will run me. I don't you run sandwich. me. You run me. Eat there. No sandwich! I'll bring you a jumper. I don't want a sandwich. I don't want a jumper. This is a modern air-conditioned building! It's never easy explaining why you're late, but a call shows you care. You never told me it was air-conditioned. Why would I tell you? Melvin, some children talk to their parents. Now, what do you want in your sandwich? I got that matured Canadian cheddar that you like. I wish I'd known. I haven't got a lot in. Still, thanks for the call. British Telecom. It's you we answer to. J.J. Hackenbush is an immensely wealthy man. I'm J.J. Hackenbush, an immensely wealthy man. I can only give you one minute of my time. Time is money. We had to agree. I want someone to sort out unit trust investments, break verticals, pick up preferences, organize all new, consider which went. Where a buyout, sell it, merge it, we said, yes, we could arrange investments. We said, yes, we could plan out a business loan. And said, yes, to arranging a pension. Currently, we manage billions of pounds in investments, provide pensions to thousands, and have hundreds of millions of pounds on loan to business. If you want to cope with the fast world of finance, the answer's T, yes, B. Are you ready? Where's your hair? Oh, it's being done. Hair? Right, quickly, what have I got to say? Right, A, it's called The Sunday Correspondent, B, it's launched on September the 17th, C, it's not owned by a press baron, and D, it is concise and manageable. Right. Oh, hair. And don't worry yourself about E and F, okay? Oh, okay, here we go. Auto cue. Goody. The Sunday Correspondent. Tonight on Anglia, a hammer chiller for the dead of night. The man who could cheat death. Two o'clock tonight on Anglia. At five past midnight, the oldest rookie will arrive. Rushing our way now via Anglia International Athletics. <laughs> for Britain's men. They beat East Germany and the Soviet Union to win the European Cup. A magnificent team effort that takes them here to Barcelona for the World Cup. Three days of competition start this evening in the refurbished stadium that will stage the 1992 Olympics. They've spent close on £30 million. This fifth World Cup's being used.